This just in, fresh and fit, go blue pill. Hello and welcome to Here's Your Apology. I'm your host, Nate, and Levi is right here with me. I'm not alone. Like, this isn't just me here, you know? Shalom. I wish we bowed in America. Like, in Asian countries, they bow, uh-huh. depending on your yeah status. I like. I just think it's fun, you mm-hmm. know. Like, thank you. Don't the British bow? Like, good day, sir. Boop. That's more. I don't know. The curtsy, and sometimes I curtsy. <clears throat> I would yeah. believe it based on what I read and see on the internet. If you believe what the YouTube comments say, big curtsier over here, huge curtsy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a curtsy and son of a gun. Yeah, so uh, so we might as well just bring it up. We put out a clip that was slightly, slightly negative towards Fresh and Fit podcast. I had some things to say because I don't agree with everything they say, and Nate does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every everything. <laughs> no, you know, there's some wild stuff that they say. Yeah, you know, we can agree on some stuff. Sure, probably. But the way that these little simps came running into our freaking comment section, just like defending Daddy Myron, here we, you know, when we posted it, I like immediately saw 35 comments. And then I refreshed it and it was at 50 comments. Just like random people commenting on it. Just stick And I right. knew exactly what every single one of those comments was going to say. And they didn't let me down. They said exactly what we thought yeah, they were going to say. Very good comments, everyone. Yeah. Real very original, good. very unique. Yeah, yeah. very unique. Um, and they're meant to be hurtful. <laughs> but luckily, we have sociopathic kind of like... Zero emotions don't here. Don't care about people on the internet, unfortunately. Smile's fake. <laughs> <laughs> you read some of the comments. Yeah, I loved him. What was what was some of your favorite? Uh oh, we always have the classic Jeffrey Dahmer, right? The, yeah, yeah, because of the glasses. The glasses, funny. Yeah, very He's the funny. The only one who wore glasses like that during <laughs> that time period. They only made him for one guy. <laughs> and he happened to yeah. eat gays, I, and that's you know representation. Yeah, matters to us. So, <laughs> <laughs> you got, yeah, they should be hyping Dahmer. Maybe it's a compliment. Maybe I read that wrong. Certain women want want to, you know, hook up with Dahmer. Yeah. So there's a market for it. Yeah. So maybe it was a compliment. Okay, Jeffrey Dahmer. Like, I, all no, right, I yeah, see no, you. It wasn't, but yeah. Because he was also gay. And we're not, so. Jeffrey Dahmer? Yeah. He was gay? Yeah. Hmm. So then we got, let's see. I like the... Bro with glasses gonna be cheated on forever. Yeah. We both wear glasses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, well, both of you. A lot They're- of the comments were talking about how, like, <laughs> they couldn't get any women. That was like... You're right. Like, like <laughs> good luck getting women like this. It's talking bad about Myron. Yeah. Good luck ta- getting... <laughs> yeah. These pussies. Yeah. These pussies don't get any... Like, I got a wedding ring on. Nothing we say ever is intended to get women. So, good point. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> you got me. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, that clip, like every other clip, was not intended to get any women. Yeah. They tried to call us uh, male feminists, too. That's the funny part, I think. That's very. Because we hate women. Yeah. <laughs> no. If anything, we hate women. Yeah. <laughs> If there's one thing that this podcast is known for and will go down in history for, it's two slick dudes trying to teach the world how to get pussy. (laughs) Like, that's what... (laughs) Yeah, that's why we put the clip out. That's why we're... Yeah, we want to get the word out that me and old pussy slayer Garcia here (laughs) have a... (laughs) Should we clarify that clip for the people who left the comments? Because they obviously didn't get it. Right? Yeah. They, they took it personally because Daddy Myron was being insulted and they had to come protect him. So the clip 
mm. was just me basically saying that uh, he says stupid things. And what I'm referring to is when he's talking about uh, like men should be allowed to cheat, things like that. <laughs> right. Or like, or like when he yells at the girls on the podcast <laughs> to get out. I mean, it looks weak to me. You yeah, know? for sure. Scream, some guy, some guy said, at a woman, some get guy the fuck said, out. yeah, some guy said him kicking her out is him responding to her. Okay. Well then wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. He is responding, right? Like, it is he, a response. Yeah, he's emotional. Who else is emotional? A woman. Yeah. That's why it's like, I don't respect him as this like alpha dude that he's branded as online because he acts like a little woman a lot of times. And he's just like the kid who yeah. who got the rules on how to pick up women that work for club sluts. And <laughs> yeah, he's the emotional version of a feminist on the male side. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he's a maleist. Right? Yeah. He might as well be outside of a building protesting. Yeah. But I think it's funny, too, because he's not I wouldn't say he's not a misogynist. You know, I don't think he hates women. I, I don't think he knows anything about. I women. don't. Yeah, I don't think he knows anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At all. Actually. Yeah, because his goal here is. Polyamory. Yeah. Let's and get down to it. There's nothing gayer than polyamory. This is the this is the blue pill. If they're telling you multiple wives, right? Andrew mm-hmm. Tate, you know, a lot of respect for some of the stuff he says, stuff like that. Uh, why? Yeah. That's not how you achieve happiness as a man. Multiple wives. Yeah. Pass. Or even, <laughs> even like the concept of gaining status. Yeah. Like that's okay. So you climb a, an infinite ladder your entire life. To never reach the top? That's, like, what's the top? That's why it's you're happiness. insecure constantly you're right? because you're like, are they better than me? Are they better than me? Do I got to do something yeah. alpha to, like, assert myself so that I'm better than them, you know? Right. But what the, like, what the matrix is, right, is that, like, like how do you achieve that, that ladder? Or, like, how, you know, how do you become, climb that ladder? Well, it's more money, more bitches, more, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, yeah, all this shit. But you're never happy. But you're never happy. Yeah. But you think you're going to get there. And you're never going to really ha- be in a like a happy relationship, like a relationship that's actually going to last. You never none of the women you meet are wife material, especially if they only want you because of your status and your money. They're yeah. just a, they're just like a. At that point, they're like a house, an investment. And they're just, you have to just pay for them to do everything. Mm-hmm. For what? So you can feel macho? That's not the way. It's not the way. No, definitely not the way. True love is the way. You just got to find someone who, like, you love more than all the other things. Yeah. That they think matter. And that's why they've gone so left wing with their polyamory. I mean, let's be honest. What's multiple wives? Yeah. They're now part of the LGBTQ community. Yeah. They just want to hook up with, they want like a relationship where they can have three, (laughs) three sums constantly. Yeah. Guess who's already doing that? LGBT. Mormons. LGBTQ. (laughs) Yeah. And Mormons. No, (laughs) but LGBTQ, they're just doing it with ugly people. (laughs) Yeah. Like they've (laughs) been doing the polyamory. You're like on the alpha side and you still just want polyamory Mm -hmm. like they want. (laughs) Blue pill. Blue pill. (laughs) I just had a thought. Maybe because a lot of the girls that come on Fresh and Fit feel left wing, right? Their ideology Mm -hmm. is all like women. Exactly. And uh, so they are left wing because they're going after left wing girls and they're learning how to get those girls because they're the only ones who will be interested in their offer of polyamory. Because right wing girls are fucking working. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. They don't have time for your bullshit. They don't. But also they are not going to let you have more than one woman. I'm not woman enough for you. You know? All right. So like. There's already going to be an ideological divide between them and the women they're going after. 
Yeah, because what what are you gonna do when when she rejects you? Like you're gonna scream, "I'm a one percent man." Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm a it top doesn't 1% work. Earner. It literally just makes you look weaker. Yeah, by trying to like posture that'll be the woman that he wants to 100 percent. a woman that can walk away exactly because because that's the thing with with what these young guys don't realize is that happiness and fulfillment comes in giving yourself right fully not just financially not yeah. just yeah it, it, and and that's the thing like you're robbing yourself of of true joy and exactly. the thing that someone who that will also do it for you in return. Like, yeah, it goes both ways. Yeah. Cause it, so it feels good. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a, that's like, stop listening to fresh and fit. Listen yeah. to us no. <laughs> yeah. for real. Only once you want a wife, if you want to just get hoes, listen to them. Yeah. I mean, fucking the, I'm sure some of the game works, you know, lift weights. Yeah. Read books. Yeah. Become proficient in a craft. And then when you want to get married, Find Listen to a us. woman. <laughs> Find a or, good woman. Yeah. Or if you're a lady, a man. You know what? Whatever. Find whatever you whatever want. Whatever you want that's legal. Nowadays, yeah. Yeah, so the comment section for that clip was out of control. And I got mean. I started getting mean just because like that I'm not I, I'm not good on social media. I t- I'm too like It's fun to be mean it's on social too media. It's fun. Yeah. Exactly. For me it's like a game so like I'm like how can I be clever and meaner and like Yeah. than they were, yeah. you know? And so like it's fun in that regard. Yeah. But okay. so, but one of the guys, some guy uh <laughs> some guy left a negative comment that was like a bunch a uh, couple betas crying about uh not getting women oh yeah yeah, yeah. and then two yeah. days later he followed us yeah so he wants to come and talk crap and then follow us okay okay if that yeah. makes you feel good you know you yeah, obviously you're coming off a of fresh and fit i get it you got to assert your dominance in the comment yeah. section congratulations daddy myron will be proud <laughs> and then he followed and then he followed us. Yeah. So maybe you know it was why? an accident. Because you used, <laughs> you used uh, Myron's way of picking up chicks on on him. And then yeah, he's yeah. like, Just oh, be mean. Wow. Just be mean. And he's, I think uh, I'm going to uh, follow this, is, this guy. This guy. This guy feels good. Feels like an alpha. Feels, he really put me in my place. <laughs> real, yeah. Real alpha vibes. Yeah. And then he slides the gag ball I don't back. think I even ah. responded to him. <laughs> That's so funny. Um. And did you know, if you're a Fresh and Fit fan, this will be breaking. <laughs> if the, if you're a Fresh and Fit fan, this might be breaking news. Myron Gaines, not his real name. Not Myron Gaines. He made it up to sleep with women. No, <laughs> like, he made it. He's up. been a fraud yeah. this whole time. Surprise, surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Your little <coughs> hero. King Gaines. Yeah. <laughs> Not his real name. What is it? El- El- Elmer Fudd. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. It was uh, Amaru Fuddle. Okay. Well, I, I get I why you want to change it. Mispronouncing it. If you're like trying to become a personality, you know, it doesn't flow off the tongue that well. But to go with Myron, that's an interesting choice. It is an interesting choice. I don't think of Myron as getting women. No. Right? My, Myron's Myron drives, good at math. Yeah, he drives the car. He's the DD for the night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's the responsible friend that your parents yeah, trust yeah, exactly. over you. <laughs> yeah. It just reminds me of uh, Sinbad's character in Jingle All the Way. It's a Christmas movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And also he's the... Post, old, he's, a yeah. post, he's a postman. <laughs> <laughs> Myron and, and also the, the only postman. lead character who's ever been named Myron. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So the you postman. Know, I'm interested in why he chose Myron. I get choosing a stage name if your original name is Fidel Castro or whatever it was. <laughs> <laughs> Elmer Fudd. <laughs> but do you think part of him choosing a new name was like the a strategy to get women? Like if I'm gonna change my name, mm-hmm. I'm gonna make it something sexy, you know, Myron something that Gaines. it's not. Yeah, 
<laughs> not something that is like a yeah. male man. My name is Stoyovsky. Like, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, make like, it something like attractive. Uh, but so maybe he thinks that that's an attractive name. He's a, he. It's like he went, okay. What's the sex? Like he googled it. <laughs> what's the sexiest name among mulatto <laughs> black dudes? Myron. Myron. Yeah. And then his favorite TV couple was. Obviously, Chip and Joanna Gaines. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't trust his advice on how to get women if the name he chose for himself, yeah, to get women is Myron. Um, so I guess we should apologize to the people in the comments for the. First of all, mm -hmm. sorry for the, <laughs> sorry for the insults that I definitely went way too far, because some of them I went too far. And I'll admit that. I'm big enough to admit that. That's gay. Don't apologize. Um, but also at the same time, I'm go. not sorry yeah. at all. Because I stand by what I said in that <laughs> clip. Myron, cringe. If you think he's an alpha, someone to listen to, you're also cringe. There's no such thing as a polyamorous alpha. Yeah. <laughs> this, like, yeah. <laughs> look, I have... Look. Out of... Me and Myron, I've been married almost 20 years. And yeah, I can barely handle one one woman. You want multiple? You fucking idiot. <laughs> what a moron. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't listen to him. Yeah. He's first of all, he's not in a happy relationship. Yeah. So why would you go to someone who's not in a happy relationship for relationship advice? <laughs> Yeah. And you know who else was an alpha? Chris Benoit. Who's that? He he was WWE wrestler. Shot and killed his whole fucking family. See, it's not all it's cracked <laughs> up to be. <laughs> like, like, chill. Stay Sigma, which is lone wolf. Think for yourself. Love women. Don't yell at them unless they deserve <laughs> No, no. <laughs> unless, unless they really step out a lot you know like don't follow a man on the internet and don't simp for him in the comments because someone says something bad about him i mean just consider the fact that us disagreeing with someone on the internet made you emotionally feel some type of way yeah is a sign <laughs> We don't make the rules. Yeah. It's a sign, though. Yeah. You are emotionally it's a connected. <laughs> it's a weakness. Anyways, oh. enjoy the clips, and thank you for the engagement, because I know they're going to be popping up in your feed now. You fucking blue-pilled pansy Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> and let's move on. She said 75 and up, so that would include Trump. Elder statesman here. This whole talk about age makes me uncomfortable. I think that I think it's the wrong road to go down. She says people, you know, politicians or something are not in their prime. Nikki Haley isn't in her prime. Sorry. When a woman is considered to be in her prime in her 20s and 30s and maybe 40s. What are you that's talking about? That's not according to me. Prime for what? Uh, it, it depends. I mean, it's just like prime. If you look it up, it'll if you look, if you Google when is a woman in her prime, it'll say 20s, 30s and 40s. I don't necessarily. 40s. Oh, I got another I'm not decade. saying I agree with that. So I think she has to be careful about saying that, well, you know, politicians aren't in their prime. You need to need qualify. To are you talking about prime for like child yeah, but bearing or are you just, talking don't shoot about the message prime I'm just for being saying president? What the facts are. Google it. Everybody at home. <laughs> when is a woman in her prime? It says 20s, 30s and 40s. And I'm just saying Nikki Haley should be careful about saying that politicians are not in their prime and they need to be in their prime when they serve because she wouldn't be in her prime, according to Google, you know, Google or whatever it is. <laughs> Google. This whole talk about age makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this whole talk about race makes me uncomfortable. Like, like first, before I start talking, let me just say that I am not comfortable talking about it. Yeah. Well, I'm not. Un I'm not. But, comfortable. <laughs> but let me just Google when is a woman in her prime. <laughs> yeah, the most uncomfortable. I'm not uncomfortable 
And then I and then I'm gonna go ahead and say the most uncomfortable thing. Yeah, I can think <laughs> yeah. Of. in front of my two female yeah. co-stars. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Obviously insulting them. Yeah, and oh. they're like, "What? Like we all we're all on the same team here. You're supposed to be, uh, you know, you said you're a feminist." And yeah. he's like, "You said you're a bitch too." Google it. Google it. Hey, and what I mean, not me, by saying that is that if she says in her. And then, in the, you know, he's trying to, like, make it make sense with, like, what he believes like, yeah. ideolo- ideologically without being, like, just a, a, it, Google said it. Yeah. So if she's saying that a man needs to be in her, their prime, then a woman does, too, and she wouldn't be. That's all. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he the co-hosts try to, like, push back, like, well, what, what does that mean in their prime? Like, in their prime childbearing years? Probably. If you Googled it. <laughs> That's probably what it's referring to, you know. Your pussy's dry up. Not intelligence, which is what Nikki Haley's referring to. Right. She's talking about, you know, if you're over seventy five, you should be have you should have to do some sort of like test to make sure you're fit for the job, right? Because yeah. some cognitive these dudes are not in their prime intellectually, right? <laughs> and then. Don Lemon's just like, well, she's not in her prime for having babies. So yeah. should we allow her to run? <laughs> you know, like, obviously, it's intellectually in their prime. No, it's sexually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If if there's one thing we want in our politicians, it's sex appeal. Is she in her prime? Just saying. <laughs> Is she in her prime? She's got some wrinkles. Some would say some Google would say. <laughs> She's not in her prime. R or D. Yeah. The best part is just to see the co host like squirming, like, oh, good. I got 10 more years. As if like we are agreeing, but, uh, but also. Yeah. But uh, also, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah you, I'm going to. Let's Google this. When, when, is a, when is a woman in her prime? Yeah. When is a woman in her prime? Uh, whenever the woman feels empowered to be in her prime. Health. The health journal. We'll take the health journal. Okay. The second link. The first one. You know. A woman's prime is between the ages of 28 and 45. He was right. But for what? You know. They're busy raising kids and they're capable of doing what they want. After that, physical and mental handicaps develop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you hear that honey <laughs> physical her best and mental handicap no what did it say just <laughs> mental her best years come when when she achieves religious faith okay health journal whoa got an agenda <laughs> that's so crazy when they crank them down the conveyor belt of life oh these are just random answers i think oh okay this is just a random s- smattering of answers <laughs> um let's do the first link oh it's about this okay never mind well now the only thing coming up is don lemon saying it so it is the only thing on the internet when is she in her prime well don lemon says 30 <laughs> 40 50 or 20 you know whatever so he's the expert so now that's when you google it like he said google it that's all it says don lemon says <laughs> <laughs> the woman's in her prime but then other people the other stuff that isn't Don Lemon, there's nothing conclusive. No one's, you can't just Google it and it pops up and it says 20s, 30s, 40s. You know, like <laughs> he was wrong. He was making it up. And now if you Google it, it says Don Lemon says yeah. a woman is in her prime. And yeah. Do you think he's going to be like, he is immune from being like canceled for any of this stuff, right? I know he got demoted from like, evening television to like a morning show Mm -hmm. but he can say at this point whatever he wants i mean he obviously got away with telling his female (laughs) co-hosts that they're just like in not in their prime yeah yeah yeah. he's gay so he gets a pass yeah yeah he gets a pass he can tell the woman he can like really pick apart their appearance and yeah and be super gay about it and it's all good yeah, because if we said, "Listen, a woman's not in her prime," then we'd be fresh and fit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Or Don Lemon. 
I mean, apparently they're saying the same shit. Yeah, the gay black that, dude, the polyamorous, and Don Lemon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're on the same team. The blue pill makes me a little bit jealous. Not you know, it'd be it'd be so awesome to just rip into some women. It could end up being what unites us all without consequence. <laughs> yeah, they, the ripping into women, like the CNN is like trying to get the more moderate crowd mm -hmm. right so now they're like getting some people who are like yeah women is in their prime for <laughs> like i yeah. mean what do you say that's a lie you know and then they start to find out oh there's things i yep. agree with with don lemon <laughs> yeah. let me watch this show let me see <laughs> that's what they're that's what they're hoping happens yeah. you know it's, they're like maybe if you drop a couple of dog whistles yeah viewership might go up maybe we can get some of those moderate you know just right to center viewers yeah just to say you know just just to balance it out a little you know <laughs> and so then you get the most diverse guy to say some of the most exact extreme right <laughs> shit. yeah yeah woman's not in her prime after 40 I'm like hmm making a lot of sense after that, they start developing handicaps. <laughs> yeah. Like, what? And after that, they're going to have mental handicaps. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because the initial response of the, one of the co-hosts was, well, then if, if Biden needs it, if it's 75, Trump's going to need it too. Like, that's like, let's go with that angle, you yeah. know? <laughs> and then Don Lemon's like, nah, Nikki Haley. <laughs> She's not in her prime. How about that? Everyone knows if a man needs a, a chest at 75, a woman needs it at 50. <laughs> you know, like it's fresh and that's fit. His, <laughs> that's that's that. fresh and fit. Yeah, that's his point. Fresh and fit is producing all these fucking yeah, yeah. Don Lemons. <laughs> and they're coming into our TikTok trying to blue pill our what fucking audience don lemons y'all are don lemons you don lemon bitches yeah fresh and fit fans are nothing but a bunch of don, don lemons lemons myron Gaines is don lemon in the podcast world. and if he's not he's producing don lemons you yeah. know what i mean yeah 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 it's all the same. It's all this. There's the same fucking message. <laughs> when do you think CNN will no longer exist? Because I feel like I feel like we're like slowly getting there. Yeah, I think they barely exist now. Yeah, because there's. But when will it be completely gone? When the boomers die. <laughs> you know, OK, because it feels I mean, it feels like they've been grasping for a while. They did CNN plus that lasted like a week. And then it shut down. You know, Was like, it even a week? Probably not even a week. <laughs> and like Don Lemon had his own show on that or something. And now he has a morning show, you know? He's yeah. Just like, it just, and a podcast. It just feels like it's almost, it's, time. it's almost over for them. It's time. Like, like it might even die before the boomers. Ooh. Feels like it a little bit. That, what would they do? Because no one trusts them. At, I mean, a lot of people don't trust them anymore. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Like they lost but the, so much credibility mm -hmm. that it, it might be enough to really like make it so they can't bounce back. Yeah. But the weird thing is the people who still believe, even though they're like the minority. Yeah. Are the loudest. They're so dumb. Yeah, like they get on, but it I, they don't have money though. That's the thing. Like, there's like a yeah. I feel like it's not enough. It's just not enough. It that's just they're screaming as they're dying out. You know, <laughs> like yeah. But I like I like seeing it when he kind of says the things he's not supposed to. Yeah, obviously. yeah. It's more fun because it almost makes you think like, a you're kind of like, do they believe what they? say they believe mm -hmm. and then it makes you think nah they don't believe it as much as they make you think they believe yeah but then you're also kind of like well you've been lying about it this whole time and you were <laughs> so adamant you know like about what you believe and it is the most annoying thing you know <laughs> like for the rest of us and now you're acting like 
you're annoyed at it? Yeah, like, no, we can hate on women. We can talk bad about women on TV now, again. Yeah. Okay? Because you all know I mean white women. No, <laughs> You know, like, yeah. but he can get away with it, you know? So it's like, okay, we're a little bit, like, back. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah. Next step is getting Roseanne back on the show. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Bring Roseanne back. She yeah, that was back. a Yeah, that one was unjust. That was unholy. Yeah. You violated culture yeah. by doing that. All because what? Because of what? Ambien? Yeah. And a quasi racial comment. <laughs> 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 This whole conversation is making me a little uncomfortable. Women aren't in their prime after 40. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm comfortable. We're even. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you comfortable? Because ageism yeah. gets back onto the righteous train. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you bitches want to talk about fucking age? Alpha male doesn't allow like doesn't allow bitches to walk all over him <laughs> you know like yeah, yeah. don lemon is an alpha they're gay they're oh, gay yeah, right, right, right. they're so like over the top <clears throat> that they're gay yeah yeah don lemon's an alpha he's like hey look bitches aren't Sa they're saying the same shit so they're all they're both either alpha. gay or they're uh so insecure around homosexuality that they're, they're gay that they're like mad about gays like you can call them gay and they get yeah mad about it <gasps> yeah 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 like it's the people who like still get mad if you call them gay mm -hmm. yeah well good luck don lemon cnn yeah good luck don and myron with your feisty your feisty co-hosts <laughs> so, wouldn't that be the shit if he came back and they were gone <laughs> yeah it's the don lemon show now oh and he puts a crown on basically what we're saying is they weren't in their prime the uh there was a professor there was a professor who was fired for a shocking quiz question about incest he was an <laughs> professor of what english okay. so was it about a book that had incest in it no, it, so the question was, like, what's the context of the question? That's how I know whether it's appropriate or not. Okay, so this is a, on the Comstats University, uh, Islamabad. Islam? It's, I don't know what that means. Is this America? Yeah, English composition. What school? Comprehension and composition. What school? University Islamabad. Islamabad campus. Where is that? Islamabad. Doesn't sound American. It's <laughs> <laughs> not as American as Smith. Islamabad. Yeah. Islamabad. Okay, now it's. Oh not yeah, that. <laughs> there we are. It's I was American. Really wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Islam bad. <laughs> All right. What was the question? Okay. So the question is, this is called the Julian Mark scenario. Julian Mark are brother and sister. They are traveling together in France on summer vacation from college. One night they are staying alone in a cabin near the beach. How fun. In France. Okay. So South, we can assume South of France. Normandy. We got to, you know, <laughs> we don't know what the question is yet, but let's start thinking of the details. Okay. Yeah. Get that. Get that. Yeah. yeah. South of France. Gotcha. Crane on the beach. Cranking. That's on right. The beach. Get those gears a turning. They decided that it would be interesting and fun Ooh. if they tried making love. At the very least. Did it say that they were related <laughs> at the beginning? Yeah. What are Julia and Mark are brother and sister. Okay, they are okay, traveling okay. together in France on a summer vacation from college. One night, they are staying alone in a cabin near the beach, and they decided that it would be interesting and fun if they tried making love. Okay. At the very least, it would be a new experience for each of them. Julie was already taking birth control pills, and Mark uses a condom too, just to be safe. 
What is this, like a kindergarten That's what it sounds sex like. ed class? They both enjoy making love, but they decide never to do it again. Smart. But they just can't keep away from each other. <laughs> and it says they keep that night as a special secret, which makes them feel even closer to each other. The question now there's several questions about this story. Okay. What do you think about that? Was it okay for them to make love? No. Well, this is a weird fucking scenario. You can come up with a billion other scenarios. Why is it incest? Well, no. The question is, was it appropriate for them to make love, right? Y- yeah. So the answer is no. That's the right answer. That's the only question? No, it says, what do you think about that? Was it okay for... What What this, do you think about that is this, the first question. This seems like an easy quiz. Yeah, but you have to write... No no gross no you know what do i think about it yeah gross but now you're labeled is it is it uh okay no what's the next question <laughs> what do you think about that was the first gross. question yeah gross and then no yeah was it no. okay for them to m- make love no no uh give reasons for your answers and include some relevant examples from your own knowledge and personal opinion okay give reasons for your answers <laughs> Give your reasons. People who are related shouldn't have sex because they might accidentally make a baby and deformities happen when people who are related have sex and make babies. Yeah. That's a reason. Yeah. Gross is still a reason, I think. Mm-hmm. What, was it, what else did I have to do? Include some relevant examples from your own knowledge and personal opinion okay so own knowledge examples from my own knowledge yeah how can i share an example from fucking some my neighbor's knowledge (laughs) um also what if you have no knowledge of having you know being a creep like that (laughs) (laughs) yeah like you're clueless like my uh okay so why do you think it's bad is what they're trying to get you to say yeah and then they want you to be like well the bible says I don't know. and then they could be like can't use the bible i I'd, <laughs> I'd play so dumb i'd play so dumb i'd be like mostly the deformed kid thing and also gross i, I can think of another reason too what there's definitely more reasons why it's wrong, right? There's a billion. Besides gross and the kid thing. what's Give me another one. I would just go, because you're all going to burn in hell. Hell. <laughs> <laughs> gross. <laughs> the kid thing. Hell. <laughs> okay. Yeah. From your, per- it says personal opinion. Right. Okay. I can say anything I want. Yeah, but if- what's another reason it's not good to have sex with a sibling? <laughs> <laughs> um, because that sibling is going to get married someday and like you, you that's fucking weird, dude. Weird. Weird. It's okay, so a gross weird the kid thing and you might go to hell. I mean, those are all legitimate reasons, I'd mm-hmm. say. And she looks like you. And your mom. Yeah. She looks like your dad. She looks like your dad. <laughs> yeah. You want to... F- uh, oh. No. Um, why did that guy get kicked out of school or anyway, something? Anyway, that's what I would say to the professor. Did you? Did that guy get kicked out of school, that professor? Is it? Yeah. He, so... Um, and did he say why he included that? Let me read about it. He f- he got fired. I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah, he was he was fired. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For asking a question. Oh, we can't ask questions anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Highly objectionable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you don't believe in freedom of speech. <laughs> oh. Um. Okay. So the professor. Ka- Kaher, I am not gonna pronounce his Just name. Professor. Some, yeah, he's from Pakistan. Is okay. Pakistan the professor? The professor from Pakistan. Just continue. 
was fired and blacklisted after uh, posing a question about incest to his <laughs> electrical engineering students. That was an... Ele- <laughs> what? Okay. okay. I thought he was an English professor. I was way wrong. Yeah, that's... They Either both start way, with E. Either way, it doesn't make sense as a question. <laughs> right. <laughs> Unless you read a book about it. Okay, I can did he say why English. he okay. asked it? The content of the quiz is highly objectionable and totally against curriculum laws of the <laughs> Islamic Republic of, pa- Republic of Pakistan and caused unrest amongst the families of the students. It's in Pakistan. Yeah, don't they all fuck each other? You said it was in America. No, I said I didn't know. You said that this college was in America. Yeah, and then... It's in Pakistan. Yeah, (laughs) it's in Pakistan. Well, no wonder there's stupid stuff on their tests. (laughs) It makes complete sense now. (laughs) You said you started this whole thing out saying it was America. I read it Islam bad. Yeah, and you said it's in America. Islam in an American city. Bad. <laughs> I thought it was. Oh my gosh. It had the word university, I just assumed it wasn't England. But now it makes that story less interesting. <laughs> it does? <laughs> Cause it's like, oh, some like desert land <laughs> taught their put a some question shit people. Some place where there's a lot of incest. <laughs> Gets a question about incest on a quiz. It's like, I'm not surprised, you know? (laughs) I thought it was weird that it was filled out with a color crayon. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, what's their, (laughs) you know, what level of education was it, this engineering class? Is this like (laughs) eighth graders, (laughs) you know? This week's apology, I want to make to... uh, Myron Gaines. Dude, I know it wasn't your intention. You created a big old army of simps. And they have a a big old muscly erection aimed right at you. I, I understand you don't get to choose your fans. I get it. You don't get to choose if you have fans. I get it. I'm, I sympathize that you're coming to the realization that you have so much in common with Don Lemon. You're the same. You are the same as Don Lemon. And I'm sorry.